Hi, Heather Berry Hill here. Welcome back to my home kitchen. Okay, today we are talking the holidays. I am making the most beautiful cranberry jam white chocolate buttercream cake that you've ever seen. So this is gonna be something you're gonna be glad to take to your next holiday gathering. I have two cups of just fresh cranberries in a bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of just pure maple syrup. I'm just gonna stir it around and I'm gonna let it sit in the bowl for about 10 or 15 minutes. Now I'm just draining the maple syrup off of the cranberries. Once I've drained the cranberries, the maple syrup off, I'm gonna pour them back into that bowl and then I'm gonna add some just granulated sugar and then I'm gonna let them dry on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. To a big pot here, I've got um, a couple cups of just fresh cranberries. I'm going to add a half a cup of maple syrup, a quarter cup of orange juice. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just stir this all together and I'm gonna bring it to a boil. You wanna take a potato masher, a fork, anything, and just kinda of break them down a little so bit. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some vanilla, some fresh ground ginger, and then a little bit of cinnamon. So also you'll wanna add just a little bit of orange zest to the jam and then we're gonna go ahead and let it cool. To my stand mixer, I've got a cup of just regular canola oil. I have half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, three large room temperature eggs. I've got two full cups of just light brown sugar, one tablespoon of really good vanilla, one and a half cups of eggnog. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this just a little mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and slowly add in three and three quarters of a cup of flour to this mixture. Then just one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then one teaspoon of just kosher salt. So now I'm just going to take my fingers and just butter my pan. So I need to line each one of my um, cake pans with some parchment paper on the bottom. I just cut little circles out. I'm gonna take this beautiful batter and pour half of it in each pan. Okay, so I'm gonna take both of these cake pans and put them into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. Now it's time to make the white chocolate buttercream frosting. Okay, I've got my three sticks of room temperature butter and my powdered sugar, and I'm just gonna give that a little mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla. I've got eight ounces of white chocolate that I'm just melting over a double boiler. Now I'm gonna add all of that melted white chocolate. So my cakes are out of the oven. I've been letting them cool for, oh, about an hour. And now I'm gonna cut the cakes into two layers each. I'm just gonna take a little bit, or maybe a fourth of that buttercream and just start spreading it across the layers. So next is a layer of that cranberry jam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the next layer on. Just keep repeating until all your layers are built. Now I'm just gonna lightly frost the rest of the cake. I've got just some coconut here that I'm gonna go ahead and just start dressing the top. I'm gonna take just some pretty sprigs of rosemary and then those beautiful sugared cranberries. So there you have it, a white chocolate cranberry cake for the holidays. For more recipes like this, go to the research.com website or follow me on Instagram at just me, Heather B.